It's a beautiful morning here on the Manio waterfront. The sun's coming up pretty early, and even now that after time changed, you know that we didn't have as much daylight in the morning. But uh, now the days are getting so long that we got a pretty good amount of daylight in the mornings again. So it's not real super early, but but the sun's up pretty high. It's already you know 7:30 or something. And uh, yep, the water's clear. This water has been clear, clearer in the last year or two than most people remember it. And there's some theory that that might be, at least I kind of think that might be partially due to the fact that with the pandemic, fertilizer prices went really high. Um, fertilizer is a very important commodity and it fluctuates in price. And during the pandemic, fertilizer got very expensive and farmers changed the way they stopped using as much fertilizer and they also with that changed the way that they applied the fertilizer so technology got better more accurate the fact that fertilizer technology had already existed it just took higher prices to get people to really start using it so so they were more exacting and how they apply the and disperse the fertilizer as well as using less and fertilizer feeds it's the nitrogen and and uh, plants and <clears throat> microorganisms eat nitrogen and so when the runoff from the farms goes into the water system it feeds a lot of nutrients in the water and that might sound good because it's nutrients but or it's adds or maybe we should say it adds nutrients to the water but that causes a, an imbalance and so we have a lot of the small microorganisms flourish and that can create uh, some issues which um, causes an over abundance of of these microorganisms and that can make the water very cloudy um, so anyhow you can study all that stuff but that's a theory for why the water has been so much clearer at the last couple of years is that maybe it's because there's a lot less fertilizer being used beautiful day the tide has come back in and we had a very low tide in some of my last videos from down here now the tide has come back in the tide coming in and out the water going in and out just like the waves also is one of those great metaphors for life things come come and they go they come and they go all sorts of things in our lives come and go our feelings about life sort of change like a tide. Our moods change like a tide. And some of that is just an analogy, but some of it's actually got some connection to, to the actual environment as well. The tide here that we're looking at going in and out is mostly driven by the, by the weather, by the wind. The wind direction was what caused the low tide but the bigger cycles in tide them are caused by the moon the moon phases and there's good evidence that we know that animals are in the wild are affected by the moon and the moon phases greatly that's not debatable but it seems that people are also affected our moods and whatnot by the phases of the moon it's all very interesting enjoy it just keep growing keep making yourself 
better version of who you were yesterday. I love you.